Okay, welcome to Uncut Angling. I'm Aaron Weeb. I actually feel like I'm guest hosting today on my own channel because this is Clay versus Jay, which is a competition series that has been hosted four times so far on Clayton Schick Outdoors YouTube channel and Jay Siemens YouTube channel. And today I have the opportunity to join in the competition. And the premise is five biggest walleye. They've done a few different storylines before. Usually it's walleye. They've also done bass. They've done most walleye, but usually biggest walleye. And today it is the five longest walleye that can be documented in a nine hour period starting at noon and ending at 9 p.m. There will be a check-in at 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. where we keep each other abreast with what we have caught. Hopefully it isn't purely a morning bite. There is about 300 boats that have already launched on this magnificently large water body, one of the many great lakes of North America. We are going to attempt to catch the five longest walleye out of myself, Uncut Angling, Jay Siemens, and Clayton Schick. We're using InReach to stay in touch today because not everybody, including me, has great cell service. So this is like a GPS transponder made by Garmin that you can send text through like it's a cellular tower kind of. And it's costing me like 20 bucks a month for the bare minimum service, but you can pay 50, 60, $70 a month for unlimited. We do have three different baits tied on and I will explain them at some point. As you can see, I'm scanning 50 feet in front of the boat. So I have lots of notice if I pull up on a big mark here. Here's one at five. Swimming straight up for some reason. Dropping it right in his mouth. Okay. Oh geez, this is gonna be a tough day. Oh, what is this? That's not a fish. It's a stick or something. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Big boulders. Wow. Oh, falling asleep. Time to move. I've dropped so little already, but I'm just going to commit to keep on looking for fish. I didn't bring bait, so I have three different artificials tied on, two types of swim baits, a jig and wrap, and I'm just going to keep looking for an aggressive mark for now. And then I don't know, by the end of the day, maybe we're gonna be begging for bait or something. All right, big main lake point here. This is spot number three. It is one hour and 15 minutes. It's 1.15 and we have zero bites. I would like to take a moment to thank Jay Siemens and Clayton Schick for inviting me to be a part of Clay versus Jay. It is taking a little bit of motivation to get me out of the door right now, just because it feels like the pain in my heart is something that no human has ever endured. And obviously lots of other humans have endured this. You go from all of your thoughts and cares being on your marriage and your relationship to that being gone. And suddenly you're a little bit rudderless, kind of like this ship is spinning in circles right now. It is tough. Luckily, we have seven hours and 45 minutes to climb back into this competition. Starting here, they might be shallow. I've got a traditional swim bait. Like this is a Dragon Slayer, which is a vertical swim bait. I have a traditional swim bait here that I will take to the shallows, like five to 10 feet of water and cast around. I also have my favorite, the jigging wrap, ready to go if needed. There's not enough marking maybe out here. So the zero line that I'm looking at right now is the back of the boat. So my rod is at five. There's 10, 15 and the boat is 20 feet long. Oh, 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 this is a good one. If that's a single fish, oh, that's a real good one. Is that a single fish? No, that's bait. Shoot, that's bait, relax. That other one's a single fish, but it's not that big. I got this vibe that the fish are shallow and I'm trying to catch them deep. Shoot, I think they're shallow. Okay, forgive me, I don't know if this is spot three or four, but it is 128 and we have nothing to show for. I'm gonna invest just a little bit more time. Sharpshooting in deeper water here. This is just nothing like what I expected. <sighs> Shoot. And there's no boats out here. There was 300 boats at the launch and there's no boats anywhere in sight. So obviously I'm nowhere close to whatever the program is. And I 
everybody's probably, I don't know, shallow. 1.39 p.m. We have to check in in 21 minutes. To be clear, we're gonna find them. It's just not gonna be in time for this check-in. Nothing, nothing here, nothing. Another giant main lake point, nothing. Like zero mark in here, zero. Oh no, there's nothing. That is crazy. Maybe a little bit shallower. Thing, a little bump right off this point. Here comes the top of it. Nothing there. I zigged when I should have zagged. Bait. Coming up again. Let's just lob one over there. What the? Are you kidding me? I just blindly cast shallow. I've got something on here. It's not big. What the heck? It didn't even have time to jig it once. And it's a green back wall. Check it out. We're on the board. We got something to enter for our check in here. That's hilarious. I didn't even have time to jig that on the cast, but it shows you that they're up shallower. So I guess I have to measure this. Mouth closed, tail pinched, 16 inches. I should keep that, whatever. There we go. We're on the board. Maybe we're in first place. Five inch rubber minnow, 16 inch walleye. So it was right on the spine. That's crazy. What else is up here, I wonder? I did not even have a chance to give it any action. I just close the bale and doop. Okay, interesting. Just shows me how far off I am on what I'm doing. 155, we got five minutes. It's gonna go right shallow. Everybody changed up, changed up. I don't care. Oh, oh, that's instant, up shallow. Instant to gain, it's not big, but it is very shallow and very interesting. Hmm. It was like, close the bale, fish on, again. Let's see what we got. It's a hair bigger. Cool. Walleye. Okay, we'll take it. Giant plastic. And this is a little bit of an upgrade. Okay. Another one. Pinch tail, we're gonna call it 18 and a half. It doesn't quite hit 18 and three quarters. There we go. Okay. They're shallow, they're shallow. We actually might have found them. The next cast could easily be a 30 incher and we have two minutes to check in. So let's see, we've got up shallow, way shallow. That is crazy. I don't even know how shallow I just cast it. But it is, that was like the shallowest cast I've made and the fish was on when I closed the bale. 18 and a half and a 16. The funny part is, 18, was it 18 and a half? Yeah, I think it was 18 and a half. 18 and a half and 16. So the guys might think that that's one fish because we're just giving our total inches. So 18 plus 16, 18 and a half plus 16 is 34 and a half. So the guys might think I've got one 34 and a half incher, which is terrifying, obviously. Okay, this one's a little bigger, maybe. Oh, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, they're shallow. Another one, another one. It's a little bigger. And that five inch plastic is evaporated. Look at that walleye. There's five inches of plastic in its mouth. Hello, they're shallow. We found them right at the end of the period. That's the biggest one yet. 19 and a half. Okay, so we got a 19 and a half. We got an 18 and a half, and we've got a 16. Oh, that feels good. 54 inches. 
Let's send it in. Look freaking out. We don't play nice with your types. No update yet from the guys. It is 2 p.m. So this is the first check-in. And I will say that they each, uh, Jay and Clayton, prefished one day. And Clayton had, I guess, like medium success. Jay slapped hogs yesterday. I think he had like, I mean, you, you should have seen the video already on Jay's channel. But he slapped like a couple 28s and a 29 and a 30 or something. So I am very eager to hear what Jay has. I'm also eager myself to get back in here. Oh, 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 new messages, new messages. Ready for this? All right, Clayton and Aaron, first period was, was medium, but considering the conditions, it's flat calm, all my excuses, I'm, I'm feeling good. Got 75.5 inches, and um, this is just the beginning. I'd, I'd be afraid, I'd be, I'd be very afraid. Hope you guys are having fun, miss you. 75 and a half inches, which tells us freaking nothing, because I don't know if that's two fish, three fish, four fish. 75 inch would be 237 and three quarter inches. Doesn't have a five fish limit, probably, but might, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. There's there's so much mystery in this game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Have not heard from Clayton yet. Clayton! We just found them. Look at how good this looks. This is a five inch plastic. We are targeting big fish. That is a frostbite dragon slayer. And we are looking for big bites and we are gonna find them. Watch out. Okay, Clayton. Clayton says. Well, boys, I'm just waiting for your first check-in, but here's my video for you guys, Aaron and Jay. I know we're not telling each other how many fish we have currently. So I'll just say this. I have 82 and a half inches of fish. I have an absolute disaster in the boat, rods everywhere. I've got GoPro head camera, keeps overheating. Trolling motor uh, remote quit. I got pike breaking me off. I have been sight fishing walleye though, which has been unreal. Like literally watching fish swim in the shallows, casting to them, catching them. But I'm 34 degrees Celsius, I'm cooking, it's hot. I hope you guys had a good period. I'm pretty sure you did, I would say. You're probably crushing me, but yes, 82. I'm checking in with 82 and a half inches of walleye. Good luck in the next period, gentlemen. Clayton's got 82 and a half inches. So Clayton is in the lead. Look out. Okay. You guys have to be watching Clayton and Jay's videos too, or you don't know what they're up to. And we wanna know what they're up to, am I right? Hey. Clayton and Jay, they're such nice boys. Okay. All the fish are shallow. They're all up here, watch this. All the fish are up in here. We're gonna get big ones, we're gonna get big ones. We are gonna end the day with 528s, definitely. Let's sink, hop, 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 hop. I think they were all like right up in there. It's funny because two of those three fish were just like close the bale fish on. Which is pretty aggressive. Oh, this is bigger and it's so shallow and I lost it, but it was so shallow. That's a huge sign right there. Oh, that was a big fish way up there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is nasty. This is nasty. We're about to get our first big one. Oh, is my bait messed up? It's not. How did I lose that? That was way up there. Okay, here we go. Tighten down my drag a little bit. You wanna be able to move that bait in its mouth. A big fish has such strong jaws, so when he clamps down on it, you gotta be able to actually move the bait through its teeth to get a bit of a hook set. I guarantee you that was a big bite. I wanted that bite. There's one. This is a little better. Oh, I lost it too. Oh my goodness, I lost it too. That was two big fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just lost a third fish. Oh my goodness. What is going on? They're not getting the hook or something. Okay, big fish, big fish. Here we go. There's a good fish. Hello. There's an upgrade. Oh. 
not a giant, but on that single cast, I had three or four big fish and finally one stayed pinned. It's game over, guys. Devoured here. Come on, it's barbless and it's out. <laughs> it's game over. There we go, it's game over. That's gonna be a 24, 25 incher and the start of absolutely everything. Okay, it is a mouth closed 24 and a half incher. <laughs> 24 and a half, that does wonders to our average. It's over. Yikes, this is exciting. They are right up shallow on the tip. I gotta get up there. Oof. The fact that I lost multiple fish on that cast, two of them big. Like I landed 24 and a half and I'm pretty sure the other two were bigger. This is just amazing. Not a boat in sight. So the boat's in 10 feet, which means I'm casting into six, seven feet of water. And I have contact with the bottom right there and then hop it up, swimming along and then go back down to bottom. And there's bottom, hop it up, swimming along, go back down to bottom. It's a very distinct tick when you're waiting for it. Ah, uh, tunk. Ah, uh, tunk. So now I'm in a bit shallower and, oh, I just got bumped out there, smacked. That's casting kind of parallel here. Missed him again. So that fish is in nine feet of water maybe. Okay. okay, that's not how it's supposed to work. But is it a sign that I'm supposed to use this other bait? Sure, let's try it. Boot tail swim bait. Not marking enough, I don't think. I need to see something on the live scope here. Six feet, five feet, nothing. There's no fish here. There's no fish here. All that excitement and there's nothing here. No fish, nothing. Zero, nothing marking, zero. There was one, okay, so that was pretty shallow, but there's not much overall. I just cast way shallow. There's a fish, there's two fish. So they're in nine feet, those ones. What happened to the bite? I thought we found them, shoot. Oh, there's a couple. So, it looks like they're in 15. Like, look at that, there's a couple there. Feels like they're in 15. There's another one, or there's a couple there, right there. That's not 15 though, that's 12. What on earth? That doesn't make sense. When I lost three fish on one cast, was it all the same fish? Oh, Cause the bites just dropped right off. We're gonna get out of here. Oh, salt and vinegar. Holy smokes. Lake currents. Lake currents are crazy. It is 67 degrees surface temperature here. And on the other shore where we just came from, it was like 56 degrees. That is a massive difference. Still, I'm gonna focus on the shallows here, but wow. 56 degrees, 67 degrees. We only have 25 minutes left until the second and final check-in. We've only added one fish to our tally somehow. It's crazy. Look at that bait. Huge cloud of bait. And I'm liking the prospect of the water being that much warmer here. There's a bite. Could be a good fish. I see. Yeah. Uh, feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Definitely the biggest fish we've caught today. And it was way up shallow as soon as we got to this warmer water. Biggest fish of the day, right there. Ah, tide maybe for biggest fish. Cool. No, it's not quite as big as that other one. That might be the first cast on this spot. Freaking sweet. So. 22 and three quarters. Perfect. Bam! 
Zazinga. Another big school of bait below the boat. Or if I see something here, I will reel up fast and sharpshoot it. But all signs are pointing to the fish being shallow. Tough. Yikes. That's not how I expected that to go. Oof. We're good. Things are good. Relax. Everything's good. Everything's good. So, what do we got? 101.25? We're going to be in the lead if nobody's upgraded. Okay. We still have five hours left. There's lots of time. I'm not concerned in the slightest. I will say this. We do not play nice with your pipes. Time to check the results of the second and final check-in from the boys. We have 101 and a quarter inches, which is an average of just over 20 inches. Well, boys, 401, here's my update video for you guys. Things are meh, very medium. I've caught one fish that has gone towards my total to put me at 103 and a quarter. 103 and a quarter or 103 and 75. Either way, whatever it is, I'll text you the correct number, but it's one of those numbers that's right here. 103 and a quarter, I believe. Tough days, tough days. I'm uh, hoping for some wind. I just got a breeze just starting to pick up. Anyways, I hope you boys are having a great day because that's all that really matters. Bye guys. Oh, Clayton is only ahead of me by like an inch or two. Guys, I've been playing nice. I've been playing nice. But that's all done now. I'm calling out all my fish last period, so this number doesn't mean anything, but I'm at 121. I hope you guys crack them. Yeah, I hope we all crack them. I just hope I crack them a little bit better. Jay's average size divided by five is 24 and a quarter. So Jay is definitely in the commanding lead right now, but it's not like he has 150 inches. He doesn't have 530 inches, so there's lots of time left. I'm going to shift my entire program 180 degrees, put the bow mount in to pitch swim baits into the shallows in that five to 12 foot of water. This is a new sonar mount that I got to get the sonar way up in the sky, right in my face. We'll see how this goes. Sweet. What's it called? Stowaway XL. Okay, let's do this thing. Oh, there's fish here. Instant, oh my goodness. First cast back after a actually prolonged break. Instant fish. Cool. I'm tucked in behind this main point here, so I don't know if the fish are hiding from the current or what, but that's an upgrade of an inch or two if I can land it. Come here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna lose him. Got him. Freaking got him. Okay, look out, we're still doing stuff. That is just beautiful. Look at those colors. Emerald green, my dear. Let's get a quick measurement. 20 and three quarter, 20 and three quarter inch. Bye bye. <laughs> we are dangerous. Oh, ho, 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 ho. lost my tail. Fish bit the tail off finally. This is a 5.1 inch frostbite dragon slayer in deal breaker color, which is like the only color you need really. Like, look at that. Slide that on. And then if I'm fishing vertical, I want that tail to stay flat so that it grabs the water like a saucer kind of and slides back and forth. But if I'm doing more casting, then you just put a little cut in the tail about halfway through like that. And that turns the back end into a crazy flapper for swimming. I see a very pleasant side to you. A side I much prefer, it's one that laughs and jokes around. Fish on. That one's not an upgrade. Do we have a smallmouth bass? No, we have a little walleye. We'll take you right there. 17 and a half. Exactly not an upgrade. Right there. Whoink. And we're in six feet of water. There's some fish in the live scope. A bunch. A bunch. A bunch. I'm going to spot walk right here because there's a bunch of fish here. 
There's so many fish down there. I gotta try a jigging wrap. I have a feeling I might smack them on the jigging wrap. Let's see. Fire tiger. Gotta be fire tiger. They're crawling on the bottom. So, let it hit the bottom and then just snap it. Snap it. Snap it. Hmm. It's supposed to be first cast. It's supposed to be every cast, really. Hmm. Okay, tried. I can't believe how much time we have. We have three hours still. Three hours. Holy smokes, that's amazing. Uh-oh. Oh. Why did I think that was big? Ooh, it might be an upgrade by an inch. It is. It's definitely an upgrade. It is. Hello. 20 and three quarters. 20 and three quarters. Smile for the camera. 20 and three quarter inch walleye on a wind bait. Not big. Okay, come here. Okay. Hello. Mm, a little better, maybe. Nope. It is a 21 and three quarter inch. I need to upgrade bigger than that though. <clears throat> what a fight. What a freaking fight. Let that one go right there. Er, let me check it. It is 21. Does 21 do anything first? Maybe a quarter inch. Same size. Same size. Okay. Two, 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 twenty and a half. Oh, we're doing it. Gotta keep moving. Catching fish, but they're not the right size. Lots of 20 and 21 inches. 20, 21. Every fish, 20, 21 inch. All we have to do is sharpshoot, and it gets incredibly interesting immediately. They definitely seem to be shallow. Like I just combed that deep structure and saw no fish anywhere down there in 25 feet. So now I'm back up into 14. Seven o'clock, two hours. What are these guys it's right here? One of them streaking straight up to my jig. That is too bizarre. Did he eat it? He did. <laughs> Oh my goodness, wasn't big. That was bizarre. We really botched that. Mm. Well, we're gonna keep moving. We can go to where we had that 24 incher. It's the best sign of an adult fish that we've had today, so we'll go fish that again. One hour left! Okay, I'll start with a jigging rat. Good old faithful jigging rat. Here comes a fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That is definitely a good fish. Oh, he ate it. He ate it. Shoot. It's 45 minutes. 
Oh, this was a, a bad decision to come back out here. All the way out here for one bite, maybe. There was a lot of fish here earlier. This was probably the best spot. The whole lake comes and hits this shoreline here. So there's lots of current and it's probably one of the biggest community spots on the entire lake for good reason. And you can fish it an hour apart and have totally different size class of fish around. Five minutes. an upgrade. It's just a one. Well, that wasn't the five great big ones that I had planned for today. So I really doubt that I beat those guys, but we will see and you will have to watch Jay and Clayton's videos to see how their day went. Um, thank you very much, Jay and Clayton, for involving me in your series. Lake Winnipeg has been pretty crazy good this spring so far. People have been getting five, 10 fish over 28 inches in the boat on the good days. And then of course, not every day is like that. And that's what today was. Still had some fun. Caught all our fish on artificials, plastics, and thanks for watching.